what this study has done so far, and the um, study has been open for uh, almost five years now, they're nearly closed in the object of enrolling 700 patients. And today's data was presented on the first 315 patients in a planned interim safety analysis. Of these patients, 210 patients got the device with intent to treat, 105 were treated with standard therapy for glioblastoma, which included you know, surgical resection, radiation therapy, concurrent temozolomide, and then up to 12 months of temozolomide. It was randomized two to one in treatment with the Stoop protocol, the radiation temozolomide alone, plus device versus Stroop protocol alone. Um, the analysis of this data showed that uh, progression-free survival was enhanced by two to three months in this from about 7.1 to a little over 10 months. And the overall survival of these uh, patients seemed to go from about 16.6 months from time of diagnosis to about 19.6, so about a three-month survival advantage. This is even a bigger survival advantage than we, sh we saw back in 2005 with uh, Stroop's data on adding the temozolomide to the radi radiotherapy. It was a New England Journal article back then. And currently, this data is now being further analyzed, and it's expected a manuscript will come targeted for a major journal here in the next few months. So very exciting data, something that we haven't seen in the last decade in glioblastoma, and honestly, in my 25 years of treating patients and doing research on uh, glioblastoma, it's the biggest improvement in survival that I've yet seen. Um, at my own institution, at Geisinger Health System, uh, we've had about 22 or 23 patients on this trial. Uh, we've also treated uh, folks commercially with the NovaCure device, or Optune as I guess it's now, now being called, who have the FDA approved indication of using it for recurrent glioblastoma. Um, our patients have tolerated this device very well. Um, obviously, there's, there's a lot of you know, curiosity as to does this really work, is it science, is it science fiction? But we've had incredible results with our patients and very, very good patient tolerance.